Hey out there in slot car land, how's everybody doing this fine weekend? Hope everybody's had a great week. Um, hope you've been taking in the Barrett-Jackson car auction this week. Um, it's Super Saturday, I've been watching a little bit of that this morning before I came down to shoot this video. And I'll probably go back watching some more uh, later tonight. Watch some of the big expensive cars cross the block. And uh, my and, uh, there'll be some Supercross on tonight. Shaden's a really huge Supercross fan, so we'll be watching some Supercross tonight. So uh, today, we're going to be doing a couple of things. Um, we're going to start laying the tape on our new paint project. This really cool NSX, Acura NSX. This comes from uh, Je uh, Jeff Hurley and his Hurricane... Uh, Hurricane Electronic Motorsports products. We're going to be talking about the layout a little bit and we're going to talk about um, parts and pieces and where to get your parts and pieces. Um, I did this a ways back. Uh, the first year we were on the channel was up I did this episode. I only mentioned three places. I have bought from a lot more places. I want to give these guys some props and some uh, acknowledgement out there for these guys to let you know um, where to go to get your parts and pieces and stuff. So first off, um, let's get this out. This is going to be a really old school paint job on this car. I don't have the decals as of yet, but um, we'll get those ordered here soon. Hopefully the government shutdown is not going to delay my income tax return. I hope not. Because if that happens, we won't be able to go to the fray, and I really, really need to go. <laughs> I really, really want to go. So hopefully they get this all taken out, and we get our tax returns on time this year, so we can do what we need to do. So, but we're going to leave the body color on this, because the color we're going to, the other color we're going to be using is red, and it's going to be red and white, and I don't want to have to paint the white, because I want to keep the body as light as possible. So we're just going to do the gray, or just going to do the uh, red. Going to do a primer, and then we're going to paint the red over it. So we're going to be putting the tape on this. This comes from a place I want to mention. This comes from, like I said before, this comes from Hurricane Electric Motorsports Project uh, Products. Um, this is Jeff Hur Hurley's um, business. He does um, buy T jet bodies for freight cars and whatnot. Matter of fact, they just came out with a brand new GT40 body and a brand new Lambo body. Uh, go check them out. They are on Facebook. Just, uh, just uh, They have a like page, so just look for Hurricane Electric Motorsports Products, or Hemp, as he calls it for short, which I think is kind of funny. But uh, they do some really good bodies. This is a really detailed, as you can see, Acura body. I think he's still doing these. I think he still has a mold. He, matter of fact, made a new mold, so you can still get this body, as well as that new GT40 and that new Lambo. So, really cool car. So... Um, this is gonna, like I said, this is gonna be an old school paint job. I've already got some, a piece cut for the nose here. Let's bring this down here to get this laid on here. And you can probably tell once we get the paint, once we get the the uh, the uh, tape on it, you're probably if you're a race fan. Especially an '80s race fan, you're gonna you're gonna see what we're gonna be doing here. Now, the problem is, it's gonna get this on here perfect because this has to be exactly aligned right, or it's not gonna look right. Might have to draw it down a little more. We're back went and gave it a thorough wash make sure you want to whenever you paint a new body like this especially a resin body like this you want to wash it 
to get all the release agents off of it. So if your tape or whatever you're doing and even your paint will stick um, properly to the plastic of the body so it's it's all good to go. Cut some tape here to to size so we can get the front of this covered. So we're gonna get this all taped so it's all ready to go. So the tape will have time to sit for a little while and cure to the plastic a little bit. But if you look at that, you can kind of tell already what we're going to be doing with this paint job. It's going to be kind of a really old school. can get this done. Try and make both sides the same here. Everything. So that's kind of a gist of the start there. I'll finish taping the rest off. We're going to put a line kind of like here on the body and here and then the whole back half is going to be red as well. So, Or I might even cut it back to like here. I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that sit and think about that. We'll finish taping this up. Finish taping this up and everything later on and uh, we'll I'll primer it and uh, We'll get that all primered and everything, and then we can lay paint um, in the next in the next episode. I'm not, I don't know how long it's going to take to get decals for that car, but we should be I should be able to get some pretty soon. So not going to have to worry about that. So let's talk about where to go to get parts and pieces. I've had a lot of questions. I've had a lot of of, of things. I've told people to reference that video I did, but I thought I'd do another one. Um, there's I mentioned three places in that episode, HO, HO slot car racing com. I mentioned Road Race Replicas, and I mentioned uh, Resin Dudes. Now, as we all know, the man who was running Resin Dudes passed away. Uh, last, well, I think it was, it was either this year or last year. I can't quite remember when. So, And I do know that somebody actually took that over and started reproducing them, but I'm not sure as to the... LaGuardia of where to go and where to purchase them. I'm not sure if the site's still up or not, so bear with on that one. But if you need anything for your Aurora, your 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 T Jets, uh, your T Jets, your especially your Magna Tractions, your non mags, and your G Plus cars, uh, HOSlotCarRacing.com is probably the best place to go. He's got the biggest variety of parts. And pieces and everything you need to, to, to fix a chassis that you already have. Um, he's got he's got a lot of stuff there. I, I went through what he had in that episode. So if you want to see this, or just go to uh, HO uh, capital HO slot car capital S capital C racing capital R dot com, and you can look at all of his 
parts and, and pieces and stuff that he has there. He's got a big variety. He ships really, really fast. If you use PayPal, you can have it in about, a, you can have it in about five days, uh, depending on when you ordered. And it's just, I've never had any issue ordering from him. He's always got great parts, always got great parts and pieces. Um, another big question I've gotten is where did I get, where did I get my dyno from? Okay, this comes from VRP Slot Car Racing. Their website is capital VRP Slot, small s, racing, big R, dot com. Right here, this is their card. VRP Slot Car Racing. This place is where I got my dyno. Um, I'm ordering. I'm ordering a couple things from them this year too. I'm reordering a, a new power for this because I've been using the my uh, a uh, a power plug, a, pow a power pack. I don't think it's given me the accurate readings I want. So we're actually going to buy the actual power supply for this from them. And I'm also toying, and I think we're going to. We're going to be picking up a downforce meter from them as well. But go check them out if you're looking for a dyno, if you want a, a uh, magnet downforce indicator, or they've got a couple other things listed there. And they're not just for HO cars. They have them for your 30-second, 24-scale cars as well. So go check them out, vrpslotracing.com for your dynos. That's where to go to get the dynos. Um, another place I'd like to mention, if you're looking for bodies, um, a couple places I would like to mention, first off, is Greg's Garage, Greg Davis. Great guy, makes great T-Jet bodies, especially for fray cars, all fray legal. Has a variety of bodies from Ferraris and Porsches and BMWs and... Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Go check him out. Um, he is uh, at www.gregsgarage.itg.com. Go check him out. He's got a great variety of bodies and stuff on there. I love Greg. Uh, finally got to meet him the first year we went to the fray. Uh, friends with him on Facebook. Great bodies. Great car. It does take a little bit to get him because he makes them per order. So keep that in mind. And especially around fray time. It's kind of hard for him to get bodies done. So just keep that in mind as well. Another place I'd like to talk about is Butch's Bodies. Um, the the uh, duster we did last year, the number 33 Skull Car, that's one of his. These two are his as well. This is a Firebird and this Camaro that I got off of eBay. Um, you can find them on eBay. He also has a website as well. Um, just go, uh, just check out Butch'sBodies.com. Great place to go for bodies. Great selection. Really cool cars. Really sweet looking cars. And that's that's another place to go for bodies. Another one, like I said before, Road Race Replica 3R. He's a good place to go as well. He's got some new stuff coming out. Um, he's also got stuff he sells on eBay. The painted bodies that he does. So be on the lookout for those as well on there. Um, a couple places I'd like to talk about for tools. <coughs> and also T-Jet parts. <clears throat> RTHO is another place to go um, if you're looking for tools uh, like uh, a um, gear press or your your uh, idler post widener tool or um, tire uh, wheel presses and stuff. RTHO is a very good place to go for that stuff. They've also got a great list of T-Jet parts as well. So go check out RT-HO Racing. Uh, what is the actual website here? R-T-H-O, there it is, yeah, it's rt-ho.com, go check them out, they've got a great variety of tools, great variety of T-Jet parts, all kinds of cool stuff, that's a great place to go check out, and uh, get your stuff, parts and pieces and whatnot, another place to go that I, it's also somebody I met last year at the fray, that was uh, Mark McVetty, who owns some M MRT, uh, MRT products. He's out of Chandler, Arizona. He sells a lot of cool stuff on his site. He's got uh, controllers. He's got T-Jet uh, -jet chassis and super stock T-Jet chassis and balanced armatures both for super stock and fray and a whole bunch of myriad of other stuff. Great place. <clears throat> got to talk to him a little bit at the fray last year. Got to know him a little bit. Great guy. Great place to go for parts and pieces. So check out MRT products. Um, it's M. His website is uh, MVP8HO uh, yeah, at Q.com. 
Go check him out as well. He's got a great selection of parts and pieces there as well. Uh, I ordered from him, got everything promptly, no problems whatsoever. Great cars, great stuff. Really, really go. Um, another place is One Stop Slot Shop. Um, they're mostly known for controllers. <clears throat> That's where I got my variable ohm controller from last year. Um, he, they've got a myriad of other ones. Granted, they are pretty expensive, but they are purpose-built, full-on full on controller. So if you want anything from running your T-Jet all the way up to your super fast cars, they're the place to go for controllers. They also have a great variety of parts for T-Jets and some other stuff. So if you want to go, you can go check out... Um, no, check out One Stop Slot Shop. They're another one that I recommend to go check out for parts and pieces. Um, I, I ordered that stuff from them, and I came, they had all, all my stuff came in about the same time. It's about a week and a half, so I had no problem ordering for them. Everything came in really, really cool and really ready to go. Um, another place, let's see, who else should we, we mention here? Um, uh, slot Car Central, another good place to, to, to look up parts for and whatnot. I've never ordered from them, but from what I've seen on their website, they've got a great variety of parts. Um, that's another good place to go check out. I've got them uh, marked on my Kindle for parts and pieces. I've visited them a couple of times to look up what they had. Um, they have a wide variety of parts from T-Jet to all the way up uh, Magna Traction, Non-Mag, G+, Tomei Turbo, uh, Tomei Super G, um, that's the place where I can go to find my, um, if I remember right, that's the place to go to find my Super Magna Traction pickup shoes <clears throat> and whatnot. So they have a wide variety of parts there. Go check them out as well. So um, those are kind of the people that I wanted to mention to uh, give some shout outs to people that I've purchased from either in person or online. Have never had any issues with purchasing with any of them. Granted, some of them I've only made purchases with once. But I'm gonna. But I, with my experience I had, I'm going right back to them. I'm already got orders. Going to be placing orders with uh, VRP, uh, RTHO, and um, I'm also going to be ordering from MRT again. So uh, great. I don't. I definitely would recommend ordering from them again. So those are a couple more websites that I thought I'd throw out there for you guys. I'll put the links in the description as well. And in, in the links down below, so you guys can check them out from the straight from the YouTube video. If you guys can, if you guys want to do that, to go check out and see what they have. So, those are the people to go for parts and pieces. People that I have great have great faith in, and that I've had haven't had any issues with with ordering parts. So let's talk about the layout now. Um, as you guys may have heard in the uh, biweekly feature car, me and Elijah. We're talking about it, and this is kind of something I've been thinking about for a while now, especially since the channel has really, really grown and really come up. Um, I want to be able to run anything and everything on this layout, and there's some stuff that with the hairpins on the layout, it just won't work. We're having, you know, we're having issues with pickup shoes and whatnot. Um, we're not able to run like HP2s very well. We're not able to run Tyco Pros at all. We're not able to run super magna tractions at all because of the pickup shoe limitations and a couple other things. So um, it's, it's something that I've been thinking about doing for a little while and I uh, thought it'd be kind of a cool thing to do. So um, we're going to come over here to the layout. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. It's not going to be a huge change. It's actually pretty simple, actually. We're only changing this corner here and that corner over there. And that's all we're changing. The rest of the layout is going to be exactly the same. And exactly, hardly any changes. So this this piece here, you see with all the buildings on it, this is one big piece of MTF. Um, if you've been watching uh, Vitamin 50's videos when he's been doing his uh, his curbings, it's the same stuff I used on this layout. So this will all come up right here. I'm just going to pull this all up, <clears throat> and then we're going to be able to take this out. What we're going to do is is you're going to come up the hill here. There'll be a slight kink, a little straight away, and then you're going to go into a 9. Possibly a 9. I'm going to buy some more track. I've got some to kind of experiment with right now, but I want to pick up a few more when I order the track for the the, the oval that we want to do on the, on the channel. I'm going to pick up a couple more pieces just to have some more pieces. Now, some of this is going to be reused on this, like this 6-inch corner here will be moved over here. I've got enough 9s to do the outside. What I want to pick up is some 12s 
um, some nine nine half corners and a couple other things just to experiment with the out and the swoop back in. So you'll come up the hill, you kind of go over here, you'll go a nine, you go a little straight away, and then you're going to reconnect back into this straightaway, probably right here at this joint or so, or maybe here. You might have to move this or this down and do a couple other things. But that's the that's the layout for this corner, so that's all that's going to change. And I think we're going to be able to put everything back in here. The buildings might be in the middle here rather than on the outsides. And then this... I don't think we're going to be able to fit over here. We might, but if we can't fit it back over here, it's going to go over there. So the, the little snack area here is going to move over to there. If it won't fit back in here, and in this grandstand, we can find some other things to do with and whatnot. So that's nothing huge. Now over here, basically this is going to be the easiest change. I'm just going to refold the camera out. I'm just going to set the camera right here on the track and talk about this. So basically what we're going to do is, is these corners are going to stay. What we're going to do is, all we're going to do is we're going to take this 6 that's right below the camera here, take it out, connect it over to here. So this will be a 6 inch corner right straight around here, and then the 9 is just going to come right straight out here. Easy fix, the hotel will still be here. We're just going to have to trim this a little bit to the inside of the corner. And then that's done and over with. And then this whole area over here that's going to be empty now... This is going to be, like, I'm either going to, like, put a fountain here, or we're going to be, or do some, like, um, snack bars and seating area and kind of party area, as it were. Maybe move the Falcon Tire truck up here as a display and some other stuff. So that's going to be kind of just a little bit of more display area right here. Maybe a couple buildings. I don't know. Not quite sure how I'm going to work that, but it's going to be a real easy fix. And it's going it's, to, one, it's going to make the track faster. Two, it's going to make us be able to run anything and everything on this track. We're, Elijah's been kind of depressed because we haven't been able to, ra we can't race trucks, uh, magnet traction trucks, truck and trailers on this track. With this change, we'll be able to do that as well. And it's just going to make everything a lot better and a lot more, a lot more fun. And we're going to be able to run a lot more cars on this racetrack. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to probably start working on this maybe tomorrow a little bit before the football game starts. I want to take this out tomorrow and take the corners off here and just kind of experiment with some layout stuff and see if I actually have pieces enough now to be able to do something with. And if not, then I'll just re we'll just order the parts we need, the track pieces we need to get them from. Uh, by the way, those will be ordered from HORacing.com. Uh, he's got a wide variety of AFX tracks. He's got every piece that you need for that. So that's the episode this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll get this all finished, taped up, and we'll I'll have it primered. And in the next episode, we'll be laying some red paint and maybe talking about a couple other things. Uh, maybe we'll have um, maybe we will have my income tax returned by then, and I'll let you guys know what we're picking up. Or some other stuff. So, plus I need to clean this desk. This desk is a disaster. But uh, that's what uh, we got going on. Next week will be a bi-weekly featured car. I believe it's going to be Elijah's. So, I'll have him pick. If not, then I'll pick one of mine. And uh, we'll uh, do the bi-weekly featured car. So, we'll get back to the paint project in two weeks. And uh, all of that. So, I hope you guys have a great week. Keep racing slot cars. Keep the wheels on the downside. Keep posting those great pics and stories and videos up on uh, up on uh, diecast or diecast crazy up on slotcarcrazy.com, uh, so the slot car group, uh, and keep checking out the light group as well. I'm going to be doing some things on there for both the channels on there as well. So kind of keep a look on that. And if you're on Instagram, don't forget to check at check out uh, slot car crazy and diecast insanity on Instagram. Um, I post some great pictures and stuff there as well, so keep on the lookout for that. And keep the wheels on the downside. Keep the pin in the slot. And I will catch you guys next weekend with the bi-weekly feature car. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye.